If you think we're on the run We are the boys who will stop your little game We are the boys who will make you think again Cause who do you think you are kidding Mr. Hitler If you think old England's done Mr. Brown goes off to town on the A21 But he comes home each evening and he's ready with his gun So who do you think you are kidding Mr. Hitler not a fact, Mr. Speaker, that many of our younger, fitter men joined the ARP at the outset of the war? Is it not further a fact that when the Home Guard was formed, only the older and less fit men were left? <clears throat> Would it not be desirable <laughs> for the younger, fitter men to be drafted into the Home Guard, and some of the old war horses at present in the Home Guard drafted into the ARP? and given the task of telling us to close our curtains. Is the Honourable Member for Five Cent aware that in my constituency, hundreds of people can't afford curtains? <laughs> the Honourable <laughs> Member has made a most valuable suggestion. I shall consult with my colleague, the Home Secretary, to see if some exchange of personnel can be encouraged at a purely local level. But let us not forget that the experience and fighting spirit of these older soldiers has been invaluable. The Home Guard is at the ready, ceaselessly on the alert. And make no mistake about it, if the enemy should set foot upon our shores, these men would be most formidable opponents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man! Go to it for the wheel! I'm not enjoying this very much. <laughs> Mannering. I've got to leave him his senses. I'm sure this isn't very good for the heart. <laughs> what are you all grumbling about? After the war, if anyone wants a telegraph pole delivered in a hurry, we've got a nice little business. <laughs> well done. Don't give up. You really are doing most awfully well. <laughs> right, gather round. Now, this sort of thing is being done by our toughest troops. And if they can do it, so can we. Mr. Mannering. Can I have something to pad my shoulder with, please? It's <laughs> getting red raw. I'll have no molly coddling in my patrol. But the trouble is, Mr. Mannering, that Jones here spends half his time carrying the pole and the other half dangling. Oh, I was not dangling. Pikey was the one that was dangling. I was not dangling. It yes, was you what was dangling. Right, I wasn't enough. dangling. All right, that's enough. Now on the command go. I want to see all three sections charge across the field, under the tarpaulin, and then use their poles to get across the street. I'll stand a pint of beer to every man in the first section across. Right, my section's going to win this. I could do with a pint of beer. Well, don't dangle, boy. I was not dangled. No! I don't look quite so bored, Wilson. I can't help it, but crawling under a tarpaulin is rather boring. <laughs> hey, come on now! Light lightning! Come on! <laughs> it's you that's bored around and run, you silly old fool! Jones? <laughs> Mr. Jones? Mr. Jones? Jones! <laughs> what is it? We've forgotten the pole. <laughs> right, push. Hurry up, Jones section. Try to catch up. Uh, <laughs> OK, lads. It should be easy for you, Taffy. Like tossing the cable. <laughs> you don't build up, I'll toss you. Naughty, <laughs> naughty temper. <laughs> Hold the pole steady. 
Pike, we'll, we'll shin a We're not shinning, we're walking. What, what do you think? Is this a circus? Okay. I'm shinning. All right, now, if we hold hands and don't look at your feet. There you go. Don't look at your feet. Well, whatever you do. Now, what I say, don't look, don't look at your feet. Look up. Now, look up. It'll be all right. If we look, if we look up. Don't, don't look at your feet. Don't look down. <laughs> don't look down. <laughs> 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 what are you stop for? I didn't say hold. Carry oh, on. <laughs> Double mark time. Two. Fall out. Oh. <laughs> How many officers? <laughs> he said, fall out, not fall down. <laughs> I swallow so much water, my legs won't carry the extra weight. <laughs> oh, oh, goodness me. Uh, it that? that was very tiring, sir. Oh. You're just out of condition. That's all. Are you all right, sir? Yes, of course. <laughs> Just pumping the blood so fast makes, makes one a bit dizzy. Well, oh, Sam, I, I don't think you should have got them to double the last 200 yards, you know. I didn't want those chaps who fell in the water to catch cold. Oh, I see. Yeah. Mr. 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 Godfrey, can, can I come to your house and get dry, please? <laughs> if my, if my mum sees me like this, she won't let me come again. <laughs> We don't have fires on Wednesdays. Uh, since he stays in bed all day with a hot water bottle, he can't get the cold, you know. Oh, don't worry, Pikey. You can come around to my place. I can let you have a spare uniform. Oh, thank you, Joe. It won't cost you much. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, dear, oh dear. That's better. You're not going to leave those there, are you? <laughs> no, no, no. Of course not, sir. Of course I'm not. No. Now, they really did awfully well, didn't they? I thought it was a shambles. Jones's section was a joke. Yeah, but you must say they were trying awfully hard, sir. <laughs> that wouldn't be enough when they come up against Hitler's Prussian butchers. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to have to split this platoon into two halves, you know. One half for those who are fit and strong, and the other for those who are not up to battle standards. Yes, well, I tried that one, sir. It looked rather untidy. What do you mean, untidy? Well, there were two in one half and 21 in the other. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I don't mind telling you, Wilson, that... I sometimes wish I had younger men under my command. Yes, well, others seem to be thinking on the same line, sir. What do you mean? Well, this note has trickled down from the war office and it suggests that commanding officers look at their men's age and fitness and get together with the ARP with a view to exchanging personnel. It's an outrageous suggestion. I shall fight that, tooth and nail. Oh, I quite agree. I mean, fancy my having to tell Godfrey, Fraser and Jones. I have no further use for you. You're now members of the ARP. No, I don't think you'll have to do that, sir. You see, there's going to be a parade, and the area commander is going to choose which of us ought to go to the ARP and which wardens ought to join us. What? I'm not having any of Hodges' rabble in my unit. Oh, I quite agree, sir. I quite agree. I leave well alone. But, uh, I mean, uh, this sort of thing it goes on like this, I mean, there's no end to it. Of course not. I mean, you say you don't want Hodges' rabble in your unit, but you might find yourself in the ARP. <laughs> and this might finish as his unit. See what I mean? What on earth are you talking about? They never give my platoon to a man like Hodges. He's a greengrocer. <laughs> he know about the army. Well, he was in the last lot, you know, sir. No, 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 no. Doesn't make any difference at all. Very different kind of war, this. Yeah, well, he did come face to face with the enemy. He looks uh, pretty fit to me, and he's a lot younger than, uh, well, one or two of us. Meaning me? Well, you're not absolutely decrepit. <laughs> On the other hand, you're not exactly Aubrey Smith. Oh, thank you very much. And then again, you're not exactly Freddie Bartholomew. Hmm? <laughs> well. Answer Judy to be beautiful, soft, keep young and beautiful. If you want to be loved. Anybody there? Anybody about? <laughs> 
Anybody there? Stuck. You see, I put it go around the other way, I thought. No, no, no. I, I was just looking at some secret file. Ah. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm glad you could get here early. Do sit down. I've been thinking about that conversation we had yesterday. About... Well, sit down. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I think there's much... <laughs> I said, sit down. I'd, uh, I'd rather stand if you don't mind, sir. What's the matter? Nothing at all, nothing at all, sir. I just feel uh, a bit stiff, that's all. Ah, I see. <laughs> Yesterday's exercise leaving its mark, is it? Well, I must confess that uh, I felt one or two twinges, too. Catch me in the back here, just about here. <laughs> please, please don't do that, sir. <laughs> I'm rather ticklish. Wilson? You're wearing corsets. <laughs> Am I right? It's a gentleman's abdominal support. <laughs> gentleman's abdominal support, my foot. It's corsets. You're a rum cove. You wear that uniform like a sack of porridge. <laughs> and in some ways, you're as vain as a peacock. It's nothing to do with vanity, sir. I just don't want to be drafted into Hodges' mob, that's all. I'm really rather proud of this platoon. I think you've done wonders in getting us all together the way you have. I really mean that. So I just think it pays at the moment not to look any older than my needs. I'm sorry, Wilson. That's all right. It's very kind of you to pay that tribute to me. Very kind. <laughs> I realise it doesn't come easy to a cold fish like you. <laughs> <clears throat> Here am I pouring scorn on you, and I had no right to, really, no right at all. I have to tell you, Wilson, that I too have taken some steps uh, to look more, uh, look more virile. Ah. Oh my God! It's not monkey glands, is it? No. <laughs> not as drastic as that. Ah. What do you think of this? <laughs> oh, it's awful. <laughs> no, 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 no! It's awfully good. Awfully good. Oh dear! Oh dear! <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Wilson? <laughs> you might snap your girdle. <laughs> you There's not was. I was uh, beneath him, if you follow me. A high just like this. No. As true as I'm standing here. Peeking out from under the brim of his hat was a wee kiss cuddle. <laughs> oh, dear, that doesn't sound like Captain Mannering at all. Precisely, it's my opinion. The man's grown soft in the head. Y listen, I think one of us ought to go into the office and have a butcher's. Well, I'm not going. I've seen it, I tell you. Y you go, Pikey. You're the youngest. Oh, that's not fair. No, we ought to dip for it. All right, then, let's dip for it. Go on. All right. 
Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a nigger by the throat. <laughs> if the squeals, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. It's you. Go on. And I, 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 just a minute. You haven't finished yet. O U T spells out. You must go. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> no, then, right. You've got to find way, some way of getting to talk to him, and then get yourself down below him in some way so that you can look under the peak of his copy under stuff. You're not listening to me, boy. <laughs> he cheated. Yeah, look, never mind about that. Now, listen, when you go into the office, you're going to have to make some sort of excuse. Yeah, I know. Uh, look, say that uh, you think we ought to go down to the local regimental barracks and get a bit more practice on the miniature firing range. Right. Hey, how did you do that? Well, at least we can keep the men as fit as possible. So I suggest we have one extra period of physical training. I imagine you'll be taking that, sir. No, you will. Oh. I also think, sir, that as well as, and in addition to also, we should do one hour of bayonet fighting practice, sir. We don't do it as often as we used to of yore. And there's no doubt about it, sir. The cold steel puts fear into the heart of the Bosch. They don't like it, sir. They don't like it, especially up them, so they don't no. like it. <laughs> I remember a good example of this when I was outside Whitefish. I was in a trench, yes. and this big barbarian comes down, and I whoop! And yes, all. <laughs> yes. Right, I'll make a note of it. Go, go, rejoin your section. Yeah, very good, sir. Thank you, sir. Come in. Thank you very much. All right, Jones, all right. Thank you. Off you go. Thank you, sir. All right, off you go now, Jones. All right, thank you, sir. Get down. Get down. Excuse me, sir. Yes, Pike, what is it? Barracks. I beg your pardon? We, um, haven't done it for a long time. What else are you talking about, boy? We, um, we ought to go and shoot at the targets with miniature rifles. Are you all right? <laughs> yes. You're wearing corsets. <laughs> I'm a what? I asked you a straightforward question. Are you wearing corsets? I didn't know we were supposed to. <laughs> Start again, Pike. Excuse me, sir. Do you mind if I rejoin the platoon? There are one or two things I want to say to the men. No, no, no. All right. right. Thank you very Go much. Go ahead. Sir. Thank you. Now, Pike. Well, um... <laughs> the men asked me to ask you if we could do more of it. <laughs> I'm sure they didn't ask you to pray for it. <laughs> Stand up! Yes, um, uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, um, we thought if, if we went out to the local one and borrowed theirs, we'd be better at it because we'd have had more practice with it. <laughs> than they would. Oh, dear. How careless of me. I've dropped your papers on the floor. Don't worry, Mr. Manning. I shall pick them up for you. <laughs> Good. Oh. Pike, do you mind telling me exactly what you're up to? See, the point is this. He's doing it because he doesn't want us to be split up and drafted into the ARP. And let's face it, we really wouldn't want to lose him, would we? No, no. no. At the same time, he's very sensitive about it, so, so please try and not to stare. I mean, just treat it as something quite ordinary and everyday, and nobody will get bothered. But do please promise me one thing, chaps. Don't laugh. Right. Fall into three ranks. Right, get Penny. You have what the officer said. Come on, get Penny into three ranks. Come on now, get Penny into three. Right, so we're filling in three ranks, sir. Thank you, Corbin. Sure. Soon. Ten. Hut! <laughs> <laughs> now, it has come to my notice that certain aspects of my appearance are causing a certain amount of speculation and some hilarity. Now, I'm not a man about to beat about the bush, so here it is, straight from the shoulder. I am wearing a toupee. <laughs> A wig, if that makes it any clearer. <laughs> so if any of you want a good laugh at my expense, now's your chance. Because I'm going to show it to you. <laughs> Personally, I think it makes him look older. <laughs> Yeah, well, you see, the thing is, Mr. Hodges, you might find yourself doing left turns, right turns under Captain Mannering. And I mean, you don't get on, do you? Don't get on? Blimey, I'd rather serve under Captain Bly. 
Yeah. <laughs> Only half a pound of them onions, Mabel. They're like gold. Shove them under the counter. Yeah. Well, you see, the thing is, if your hair was a bit greyer, you might not look so young and fit. What do you mean, young and fit? With my heart and my nerves, I'm a physical wreck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's silly, isn't it, to take chances? Now, look, I've got something here that will make your hair white instantly. Mind you, it's a bit expensive. And I can only let you have an ounce. But uh, to you, it's a quid. Now, are you on or not? Well, yeah. I mean, I, I don't want to take any chances, do I? Now, good man, I'll bring it round right away. I like you very much. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I'm coming and talk to you for a minute. <laughs> I'm sorry about the candles. The blinds are a bit thin for the glare of the gaslight. I, I like candles. They're, 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 they're more romantic. <laughs> What would he be wanting? Well, it's that this Mr. Godfrey and I, we've been looking in the mirror, and we decided that if the general picks on anyone to go on the ARP, it'll be us three, because we're three of the oldest. Man, you're right. I've not slept a wink for brooding on it. Aye. You know that old Mr. Armstrong? Him that passed away last month. Yeah. Aye. Yes. Well, you managed to make him look not a day over 60 and he was nearly 97. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the douce of a rare skill at beautifying the late lamented. Well? Well, could you make Mr Godfrey and I, you know, could you do the same for us? <laughs> hey, man. That's a challenge and no mistake. <laughs> We'd be very grateful. Yes, you wouldn't be out of pocket. Uh-huh. Away into the next room and lie on the slab. <laughs> Where's Mr Jones, Mr Fraser and Mr Godfrey? I think they're leaving it till the last minute. When Captain Mannering sees them, he's going to have kittens. <coughs> right there. Come on, come on, hurry up. Go on, Jones, hurry up, hurry up. Come on. Come on, Godfrey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr Jones, Mr Fraser and Fall in, close as you can. Come on. You can't, Josh. You can't. Then again. Yes. Right. I'm sorry, Sergeant, only without my specs, I'm a bit hard of seeing. Yes, God. Right. <laughs> right, squad. Wait for it, Josh. I'm sorry, Sergeant. I'm a bit too alert this morning. Yeah, of course you are, yes. <laughs> right, squad. A turn. Shut. Is that better? <laughs> no, it wasn't really much better, but never mind. Doing better for your inspection, sir. Thank you, Sergeant. <clears throat> now, I think you all know me well enough to know that this inspection by the area commander is very much against my wishes. However, orders are orders. But if any of you are urged to join the ARP against your wishes, I shall complain to the very highest authority possible. Thank, Thank you very much, much sir. Sir. Thank you, sir. I think you'll be all right, Pike. Thank you. And you, Walker. Turn about. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? I think that's Jones, sir. <laughs> Jones? What on earth have you been doing to yourself? I didn't want to leave you, Captain Mannering, nor these brave troops that you, Captain, and I, Lance Corporal. <laughs> God, Fraser fixed me up. What's the meaning of this, Fraser? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> what did Hollis say, Winnie? <laughs> He's not speaking very plainly this afternoon, so on account of his cheeks, he's puffed out with cotton wool. Did you know about this? Yes, I did, sir, but I turned a blind eye to it. Well, you've no business to. I'm the only one with authority to turn blind eyes. <coughs> Go. Go <laughs> <see? laughs> what has happened to you? Well, Mr. Fraser's fluid, sir. It stretches the skin. <laughs> This is ridiculous. <laughs> Looks like Madame Butterfly. <laughs> Get it off at once. I don't think I can, sir. <laughs> How long does it last, Fraser? <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? He says he's never dug anyone up to have a look. <laughs> <laughs> there you are, Napoleon. How dare you barge in here like that in the middle of a parade? What do you want? Clear off, will you? I just wanted you to know. If you've got any ideas about getting me into your shower, forget it. Look. <laughs> Very distinguished. Not bad, eh? Wait till he tries to get it off. <laughs> I can't think why you went to all that trouble. Why? Because I'd rather look 107 than serve under you, that's why. I see. But it doesn't show under the hat. Well, what if it doesn't? I'll stoop, that's what I do. I stoop a bit. Yeah, stoop as well. They're not getting me into your squad, Marin. The way I'm going on parade, they wouldn't even have me in the Chelsea pensioners. <laughs> now, I don't approve of this ridiculous charade. It's too late to do anything about it. So be it on your own heads. <laughs> it's rather witty, sir. Sergeant <laughs> To left turn. By the right, quick, march, left, wheel. <laughs> <That way. laughs> Didn't pick any of them. Looks as if you got away with it. I sincerely hope so, sir. I really do apologise. Congratulations, Mannering. You certainly used your initiative in a crisis. We do our best, sir. I didn't see anything, of course. Hope it comes off all right. I expect it will. <laughs> You've just got it over in time. Give the old boy three chairs and I'll buy you one in the pox. Yes, sir. Blimey, here it comes. Number one platoon! Three cheers for the general! Hooray! 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 Hooray